Hello everyone, this is Lucas from Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton coming at you today with the teardown of a Siemens Landis termination module PTM62250 M. If you've tried to take one of these apart on your own, you know it's a little bit tough. And uh, today I'm going to show you the little tips and tricks I learned when pulling this apart and how to get it back together again. Uh, I also had an LED module here, which is the casing for it, the LED module, and then the cover. It was too easy to even show. All you do is pick these tabs on the side, and the whole thing comes apart. But this termination module was a little bit more tricky. It's got springs. It's got little tabs. It's got all kinds of stuff that you just hate when you're trying to tear something apart. Um, the first thing you'll remove is your front face, but when you do, the board's going to be connected to it like this. And when you remove the front face, you should remove this little addresser here. I think this is a little address pin and or activation pin. I'm not even sure. I haven't even looked at the software for one of these. Um, this is, I think, is an address pin because it says 890 on it. But I, I'm not sure. Um, you got to make sure that this address pin comes out first, and you also got to make sure that when you pull this uh, front face board off, that this little thing here doesn't get damaged as well. Yeah, if you get this damaged, it's kind of pooched. It's done. Um, so when you pull this off, this piece was going to fall out, and then you're going to be left with just the board stuck inside the casing. Now, the board won't come free of the casing unless you push those two tabs at the very back. And you can see where my finger is. And that's the hole for the connector at the back. On either side, there are two tabs. And those two tabs, I just managed to push back with a regular flathead screwdriver going through the board side. And I did it like this in relation to the board. I went like that. And then like that to depress both the tabs and afterwards the board was still in the casing so I took a pair of needle nose pliers and grabbed the board right here and you can see on the back there nothing to damage the board that's where I grabbed it right there grabbed the casing gave it a yank and the board came right out now, putting this all back together is kind of a, a nightmare, and I'm going to show you how to do that here right away. But I'm going to block out the camera here quickly. Okay, we got the board back in. Now I'm going to put this spring back in and what you want are, you can see these little lobster claws and there's a bump on this side. You want the dented side or the, towards the board and the lobster claw is down. So I'll show you like this. Like this. And you can see that this is having a hard time focusing. Did you see how I got that? Lobster claws down. I can pull that out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Toward the board, like that. I'm going to push it all the way in. Like that, like so. Now, the next set of lobster claws you got to deal with are these ones here. Now, these will depress and under press, I'll show you, I'll just pull it out like that. See it's loose, you can just grab it, depress it very gently, and it will click into place. 
And you want to do that with both of them and you want to make sure that they're lined up in the middle to start with to put your board to snap it back into place and it snaps in quite easy. There we go. We got the board snap back in. You can see the sliders are working great. No issues. And now we just snap this back into place in the board here. There you go. And there you are. Your PLC termination module is now back together. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe. And please check out my other channel, uh, People Not Oil. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, it's my um, kind of sort of charity channel. And um, uh, we go around and we expose... Uh, what is really ex destroying the planet basically and it's people not oil and the kind of nasty stuff that people do and uh, with oil and not the oil doing it to people again this is Lucas if you like this video give me the thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back with some more